Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to set your ink prices into the multi-rip GP software and that way the ink calculator which is located on the left hand side of the rip interface will properly show you how much ink will drop down onto your shirt. The first thing we want to do is open up the rip interface and when you have the rip interface open up if you go to the utilities and down to the printer and ink configuration menu. That will open up a new window and you want to click on the second tab called ink configuration. Your first choice is whether you want to run the machine in a CMYK plus white ink mode or a dual CMYK which is running two sets of CMYK. We'll go ahead and choose the color with four white options. The next thing you want to do is come down to the ink cost per liter and put in the exact ink cost that you have for all of the different colors and white ink that you have. In this current case it's set at $300. Now I will tell you that the ink calculator will only calculate the ink that is dropped down onto the platen or t-shirt. It will not calculate any ink that is lost due to the printer doing any automatic maintenance programs, any head cleanings, nozzle checks, or anything else. So what I recommend doing is taking your cost per liter, and let's say your cost is $300, and inflating that cost to help cover some of this. Now inflating that cost some people like to do somewhere around 20 to 25 percent more. So in this case we're going to raise the cost to $360 for all of these. If your white ink costs more, you can also have a different cost for each one of these. I also would recommend you including somewhere in there the cost for shipping. For white ink, I'd raise it up a little bit higher because most of your mistakes are going to happen when you're printing white ink. So I would raise it up just a little bit higher. Granted, these numbers are inflated, and it's, help, it's to help you with your budgeting process for when you price stuff out. Once you have that taken care of, you also have the ability to, to adjust the, the density of each one of the inks. The RIB software is profiled for using at 100%, but depending on what substrates you put down, sometimes you want to adjust that density. Also, the RIP was profiled using the older version of the DuPont white ink. The newer version tends to be thinner, which means you'll end up dropping more ink down onto the shirt. So what we want to do is a pull and adjust the white ink like we have in this case down some. I found in my recommendation is 82 is a pretty good number. It still gives me really good coverage for a white underbase, but doesn't actually puddle the white ink onto the shirt like it was doing at a hundred percent. Once you have all of that set, you can come down to your black detect threshold. This setting is basically used for when you're printing items and you want to make sure that the rip prints it out as black, you can adjust this slider left and right to increase it. What this will basically do is it will increase the level of composite black or black that is created by a CMY and turn it into a complete black or K. Once you have all of that set to wherever you'd like and again the default on this is actually 81 when it comes with the rip go ahead and hit OK and now your ink cost will be put into the rip software for you. For more information on how to set your ink calculator up and have this in writing please visit www.multiripusers.com To purchase Multirip GP, please visit www.multirip.com Thank you.